Hey everyone, Lance here from the Tech Me Show. Obviously, that's probably how you're watching me. Um, so I was on the uh, Lady Ada's Ada Fruit uh, uh, Show and Tell on uh, Google Plus Hangout. Uh, I showed uh, my Windows Phone uh, uh, to connect to the Arduino via the SparkFun uh, Bluetooth module, uh, which I purchased um, actually from Polo Olu. So if you want to visit them, uh, links in the underbar. It's poloolu.com. P O L o l u dot com hopefully i didn't butcher that um anyway so i was working on a project i got sick of everybody talking about how they can control their robot their uh, rc plane helicopter quadcopter um from their ios or android so i thought what about windows phone we can now uh connect to uh, uh bluetooth and i've gone through a world of hell to try and figure it out uh and how to actually get uh uh, the module to listen to commands, how to uh, get Windows Phone to successfully connect, uh, how to use the buffer, how to uh, convert to UTF-8, and all this other stuff, um, which I'm eventually going to actually make a control. So you yourself can start making a robot or turn off your TV or whatever you want right from your uh, uh, Windows Phone to your Arduino project, which I think is very important uh, for the health of Windows Phone 8. But enough of me talking. If you didn't see me on uh, uh, Show & Tell, uh, this will be new to you. Uh, I have the Zumobot uh, wheel, which I have connected to a motor that I used for my Zumobot, um, for the Zumobot kit from Polo Olu. Um, I have a SparkFun uh, silver Bluetooth module, again, from Polo Olu. Um, and uh, I have a little LED light that I got from uh, Radio Shack. Cheapy thing, too, for $1.60 something. And uh, that's basically it right now. Uh, eventually, I'm going to uh, hook up this little IR to uh, turn off uh, the TV and whatnot instead of using this clunker. So I can take that big remote and turn it into this, which I want to talk about. I'm using a Nokia Lumia 920. As you can see, it's very yucky. Uh, but I love this phone. Uh, one of the best phones I've owned. It feels like what a $600 phone should. Like a piece of equipment. Does amazing video. Does amazing connection to everything. I really owe it to the Nokia Lumia. Not sponsored by them. I get nothing by them. Uh, don't get anything by Microsoft or uh, Polo either. So uh, it's kind of a, uh, just being nice and spitting out what I'm doing and working on. Um, anyway, so... I'm going to go ahead and show you now. I'm going to take the camera and put it down uh, on the table. I'll put the software next to the project just so you can see exactly uh, it actually working. Because I had one person say, well, you have a cable connected uh, to your phone and to the project. Well, if you know anything about the Arduino, yeah, you kind of have to power uh, the device. Uh, and it uses a USB uh, cable. Um, and I have it connected to my computer, one, to turn it on, two, to transfer uh, uh, the uh, project file from the Arduino uh, project through uh, the com. Uh, any anyways, you know how to use the Arduino, or maybe you don't, actually, so I shouldn't say that. But you need to have the cable, unless you have some other external connector, which, where I'm at, I don't. Uh, and I had a cable connected to the uh, Windows phone, which the battery was low. It wasn't some kind of trick. I know this sounds probably ridiculous, and it is, but I'm trying to make it very clear um, that there's no trick. Because I know a lot of people who have tried uh, with the Windows Phone and saying, oh, it's impossible, blah, blah, blah. It's not impossible. I've done it. Uh, and eventually you will too if you're interested, because I'm going to be making that available to anybody out there that wants to. Again, trying to help the Windows Phone platform. You've seen my videos where I rant about Microsoft and whatnot. It's only because I love the company and I want it to succeed. But enough of this. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, get this going. So follow me over here. Okay. So as you see, I put the little Adafruit uh, logo on there, which I don't think they even noticed that I did, but I did. And uh, so as you see here, we have the Bluetooth module, right? Um, it does, it's not connected. That's why it's running uh, red. Um, and then that LED right here uh, is actually a red LED, but you can't tell because of 
uh, lighting. And then here's the Poluolu uh, uh, wheel, which I believe they actually make the wheels themselves. Uh, and I have the little motor in which I purchased from them. So when I push the button, it's one going to make this light go green, which means we're connected uh, via Bluetooth. Then I'm going to push the send command and it will uh, go ahead and uh, turn off the light and it will turn off the motor just for about four seconds and then turn it back on. Note that sometimes I have a problem with the little motor and it doesn't spin the wheel, so I'll have to tap it to get it going to keep showing you. But I didn't want you to think whatever you might. Um, so let's get this going. Let's go ahead and connect. Uh, how do we know we're not connected via Bluetooth? Tap up top of the phone. As you see, Bluetooth is definitely not connected. Uh, plus, you can tell because we don't have a light. So let's go ahead and connect it and watch uh, the little light here. And as you see, we've got the green light, they say. Um, and that's because it's a fact. I know my desk is dirty and messy, but as you can see, uh, we have uh, a green light. And as you notice, the motor is still on and the light is still on. Why? Because we haven't sent our command. So now we're going to send our command, which I'm going to have it up here so you can see it happen live. Okay, so I'm going to press send command and watch the light and the motor go off. And they went off. Now in about a couple of seconds, the light will go back on. And so will the motor. And they, Oh yes, the motor uh, finally turned on its own. That's good. Uh, I was having problems with that. But now, why would you do something like this? Well, again, because I'm trying to make it so that we can uh, make this into a robot or uh, whatever. And by make it into a robot, I mean control it. Uh, so no fancy equipment. You have a teeny little Bluetooth module, as you see. It's very thin and uh, portable, so to speak. Uh, I know I shouldn't have connected it this way. And I had it on a breadboard, as you see over there. Uh, just your normal breadboard uh but uh yeah so let's go ahead and shut it off one more time see how quick that was that was pretty quick um which is great so that means it could work pretty good with the rc car see i gotta flip that but uh yeah so let's try it one more time and we'll call it quits and Again, if you have any questions, uh, at Lance Seidman on Twitter, that's L-A-N-C-E-S-E-I-D-M-A-N. And again, that's on Twitter. Or uh, comment in below. Um, and if you're not on a website that's not on YouTube, it's youtube.com forward slash techmeshow, T-E-C-H-M-E-S-H-O-W. Um, or you can always Google me, and uh, or Bing me, rather, um, and find me on uh my blog. So, one last time, send the command, and it's off. And we are too. Thank you.